What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Doll back with another Transformers The Last Night review. This is Transformers The Last Night Premier Collection Dinobot Slash. This is Deluxe Class, and we'll take a quick look at the packaging. You can see him in the packaging. He's got his blades up above. Premier Edition. Transformers. Dinobot Slash. Here down there. Hasbro, ages 8 and up, which is more higher than it used to be ages six and up before the age of extinction it was um you got the back which is cool product shots i like the product shots they've been giving us this year much better than the old product shots and like any of the old lines basically maybe not any but most and then we got the awesome uh art here on the bottom with the product code right there if for those that are want it so without further ado, let's get right into the review. Here's the image of the top of the box, so that's really cool looking. Checking out the action figure side of the figure first. Pretty cool. I like it. I dig it. So yeah, there's it. Check it out. I like his face. I, I never got the Age of Extinction version of this. The only thing is the packaging made it so you might have to mess with the tail if you see it's bent right there <laughs> so yay for that but other than that it's not too bad you have these storage here for his weapons you can put them like this i found another way to store them as well so they kind of tab in you can see that little notch here that goes up and that notch right here just put it like that pop it in there just like that so pretty cool you can do that you can also do this i'm not sure um, this kind of looks better in my opinion it makes the figure look cooler so you can do that he's got it he makes him have some spikes checking him out though he's got these big claws for kind of uh for his shoulders but he's got dual hinged shoulders he got ball jointed there got a swivel at the bicep he does have an elbow, but it's one of those uh, gorilla arm elbows. But it's not a very, there's not much movement there. But you do get some. See? You do get some. There's a hinge. Uh, his head will spin or turn. It's just on a pivot joint, but his head looks really cool. Digging the head, and I like the paint. I like the metallic paint. It looks good with the Dinobots. Um, I didn't get the Age of Extinction version because he looked like a big clown. I was not having that very much. I just didn't, wasn't really enjoying it. So, you got these will move right here. They're on like kind of a hinge. There's a pin. So you can get, and they're also pliable. So you can get movement out of his legs, no problem. They go up and back and out. They, they go they do have the range to go out but you have that in the way but we'll we'll figure out if i'm sure you can move it out of the way if you needed to in there so, so you can move it out of the way uh he's got a thigh swivel it's got kind of like a here let's get this out of the way there we go and then he's got a knee with some ankle movement as well foot movement and you can adjust this if you need to but also you can use it kind of like this so you can do wider stances and whatnot if you want if you needed to like uh you know so let's get them in a pose and then we'll we'll transform them so there you go. And he can also attach his weapons into his hands, of course. They're a little rubbery. They got some rubberness to them. But hard enough here where you can attach them into the fist without a problem. So there you go. So there's what Slash looks like with his weapons. I'm digging it. I'm digging him. He also has a waist swivel. Move everything out of the way. You do have a waist swivel up there. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Nice metallic colors here. I'm liking those. 
now that I got 100% caught up on my bills, we can try to get towards that contest. And I'm also going to try to get a uh, different light box over here so I can get better reviews for you guys. And a different studio. So, let's put them down. He already oh, stands, no problem. So he looks good standing. Here's what they look like all together. The Dinobots, well, at least the movie best Dinobots and Slash. Um, I'm not really fond of the AOE Dinobots, to be honest. They're all colorful. I do have them all except for Slash and except for Slug because those weren't in the movie, so I didn't really feel like getting them. But I hear that Slash is actually a mini Dinobot in the movie in the, um, last night, so I figured I'd get him. Plus, he looks better. So, he can go with my Dinobots. This is what he looks like with Optimus. And this is what he looks like with Barricade. You can also store the axes right like that. There's a little dip. You just use the shoulder there. Just like this. So, they store pretty good. So he's got a few different places to store the axes. Alright, so now time for the fun part. There's Slash right here. One last look. Pretty cool. We got some turquoise kind of metallic turquoise blue kind of and some lighter metallic blue looking at the back of him now in the package it said to do it like this but I don't I think that looks a little bit less cool unless it's accurate to the movie or something I probably just put him down for like this but anyways to transform this guy um, okay so first you want to twist his legs around 180 just at the thigh swivel just like that and that all right just like that next you want to uh, flip up we're going to remove the weapons now it now it it says to uh, I believe do this now it's supposedly they're supposed to stay like this through transformation but um, to be honest I don't I'm just going to remove them but you can supposedly do it I'll have to work at it and do an update or something if that's the case so I guess it's like that but anyways so we're gonna get this transformed so removing the axes you wanted to flip those around like I showed you then you take this and you flip this entire tail piece it's up on a hinge and you want to make sure that you get over there's some rubbery stuff let's see if I can get this light there we go there's some it gets a little notch right there so you want to lift it up and over it's more on this side on mine but lift it up and over so it covers up his head that's his tail now you'll have some more room so you can uh, you can take these and then you want to revert them all the way into his thighs like that and like that and then now they'll be able to connect but before you connect them you want to go upside down here and you want to pull these out on hinges they're on double hinges and you want to pull them as far up as possible see that goes from there comes up here perfect like that and like that now you want to go back here and you want to attach these for now there's a couple tabs and you just tab everything in like that and then these will tab in and then these will tab in but if you don't have it correctly so you want to bring this down and you want to bring it forward so you want it like that then you tab it all in to make sure it's secure just like that all right so that's cool all right so we're getting there so next what you want to do is uh, these are actually locked up over his shoulders, these plastic pieces. Um, yeah, you can kind of see it swivel on him. See that? So you want to take his arms, I'm going to assume to be his legs, for Dino, and you want to flip up underneath. So when you flip up underneath, or do you want to go the other way? No, you want to go this way. So you flip them up under, like, they're like this. And you flip them around like this. So you bring the arms up to the correct spot in dino mode. Like that. And then these go up underneath. Just like that. And then this, his feet in robot mode, now go up under here. 
So it looks like that. Just like that. And you revert these around, and then we just transform his legs. So the fist will go in as you pull this hinge out. Then you revert this 180. Same thing on the other side. Flip the ball joints, so the, the inner ball joints in the inside, like obviously. And then these flip, the hand goes in. Once the hand's in, you can swivel that. It's on a swivel, 180. And then there we go. We got him in dyno mode. And then you just get him all ready to stand. And it, take, it takes a little bit of doing, but not too hard. And there you go. And he's in dyno mode. So, pretty cool. And like I said, these, are, these were supposed to just kind of stay in there like around the shoulder parts and it does lock in a little better if you there's not really any pegs or systems at least that I found I was trying to too yeah like there's no pegging system there there's no pegging system here you just you just swivel it it's supposed to, it does hold okay though but that's him he looks great uh, mine won't really stay closed at least this time around it did before but see it wants to stay open I wonder if there's a reason for that yeah it just stays up but it's not bad and he uh he's pretty cool but he doesn't have like like any he has filth out down, down this way but not really any tilt this way so you kind of have to work with him but he, he stands like a raptor would so very cool and that's him. And his articulation, he's got swivels on the hips. He goes out. He's got that thigh swivel. He's got that knee bend. He doesn't have the up bend, which is what you need, but he has a down bend, if that helps. I guess you can kind of use it as ankle swivel, ankle tilts. See? <laughs> um, he's got posability in the arms. Go up and down. They're on these peg joints. So you can pull them out. And he's got a opening mouth, so that's cool too. And then he can move his head up and down like that. But looking at the details, really cool red eyes. Love those red eyes. Nice spikes looking at the back of him. This is what he looks like from the top. His tail is still bent, but not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And uh, I'm actually really digging him. So let's check him out with the other Dinobots, shall we? Here's what he looks like with the other Dinobots. We have Grimlock, Slash, and Swoop in the background. And Swoop actually has some purple on him that um, I'll have to show in a following video sometime. But let me know what you think of the review. Oh, yeah, and you can also um, you can also peg these in here. That's where they're supposed to go. They just kind of slip in there. And they, because they're rubber, they stay in nicely. And I'm sure you could figure out a different way. I think you can put them out this way, too. Pick them the other way around, like this or something. But um, let me know what you think of the review. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you got something to say down below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, stay awesome, stay sub, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace, guys. It's a wrap. I'm out. Meet Grimlock's sake, Munch Metal.